You asked for us to get more technical, so we're gonna get more technical. I got my buddy Philip on camera today. We're talking third generation, family owned and operated z Ersch here in Germany, and we got a machine behind us. But a lot of this is gonna be relevant to all the machines that they make. And it's important to understand the value that you're getting, the investment that you're making. We're gonna first start with design. Design is so very important. Maybe that's why we placed it at the top of the list. But these are the, the six sexy technical is it, can I say sexy on camera? Yes, you can. Yes, I can. <laughs> the six pieces of technical capabilities that we think you should understand today so you know exactly how this can benefit you. And we are starting with design. So my friend, let's start. So design is a very important topic for us as well. So first of all, uh, it's a very unique and modern design, which you can see here, and also very user-friendly operation. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the design. I'm a big fan of, of big windows or accessibility to get inside the machine. I know some of these can be fully enclosed or you can keep it like it is now to be able to reach inside. Precision though, when I think about something looking beautiful, if it doesn't give me precise parts, I don't care how it looks. It must have precise parts. Yes, correct. So precision here, we have maximum precision in the micron and also in the sub micron range. So we are not scared about microns. So highest precision with these grinders. I used to, before I really dove into microns, be curious about what the size of a micron actually is or how a micron can change based on one degree of temperature change. And it is just so tiny. So when we get into the world of sub microns, it really does inspire and, and also baffle me a little bit because it is so small. When you think about the diameter of the average hair yes. and what a micron is compared to that for you folks out there, if you don't know what a micron is, look it up. It is absolutely tiny equipment. Let's get into equipment. Equipment, so the machine comes ready to grind at a really basic machine price. What means ready to grind? So you get a chuck, you get a flange, you get a grinding wheel, you get a hydraulic unit, you get an oil chiller, you get a pa paper filtration system, you get a magnetic pre-separator with the, the machine, so ready, absolutely ready to grind. If there's folks out there who have not seen our factory tour together and I share my pet peeve about buying a machine and then they're like, oh, by the way, you need this and this and this and this in order to make it run. Oh my gosh, it drives me absolutely crazy. Construction, let's talk about construction. Construction principle, so as you can see, the operator is very close to the chuck, so easy to for the unload and loading the parts. And also it's very rigid machines. We build uh, only cast iron machines. We don't mix any materials. We have a long base. Our table never goes over. There's no overlapping when it goes left and right. We have a moving column, which makes the machine really, really rigid. The moving column is the area where if I go too far, I can't apply as much pressure as I once could on a closer side, right? This is what we're talking about with the column. Exactly, we will never have a drop down effect. So we have the same pressure all over our workpiece in the cross stroke, you know? Yeah, and, I, and the similar applies to your base. I noticed that it never goes past where your base is, so you can apply maximum pressure. We've talked about rigidity a lot, and I Correct. use that word a lot as well. And then, uh, did you see me walk into your factory with a limp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I tried to pick up a part that was poor ergonomics, and I was reaching this far into the machine, and I'm old now. That's I hurt my back. I like being this close to parts. Yes. Obviously, you have cranes here, and that's just a part of a joke. My limping has nothing to do with that. I'm just getting old. But now let's talk a little bit about driving power. So driving power is very important to us. So that's why, as a standard, we, bring, uh, we deliver the machine with 11 kilowatt. We can go up to 32 kilowatt as an option. So therefore you can see we have a, a lot of power. And that driving power, if I'm gonna just make an assumption, which I know is bad to do, so I apologize ahead of time for assuming, that's where I can really hit a material hard if I wanna do some roughing or something like that. Exactly, so also if you wanna use CBN wheels or diamond wheels, our machines are ready to grind. You don't need special options, so just go for it very, very rigid, big guideways from Bosch Rexroad as well, so. I'm that type of guy, 
who always pushes the machine until it starts to overload and then I back it up about 10 percent. I am definitely that guy that likes to test. Dressing system. How are we talking about this one? The dressing system is a very important topic. Our philosophy, the best way to have it is table mounted. We have enough space between the chuck and our dressing unit. That means we can use the full chuck with a big and high workpiece and we, can, we are still able to dress collision free. We don't have it uh, head mounted. Head mounted is a very dirty place, you know, and you use different axes as you grind. We use the same axis to dress and to grind, so over the years is the, the most precise way to dress. And what happens if I dress in a dirty area? What does that do to my overall operation? You, you definitely lose in, in precision. And you can also see the, the two diamonds on 45 degrees. There we are able to dress simple profiles as a radius and angle or to calibrate the, the wheel. So for example, we are also able to grind till 20 slots. So if you want to do slot grinding, that's also possible on our grinders. I've seen some machines where this dressing section is much closer to the table and it looks to me like it gets away of the actual part. So even though I see a decent sized table, the parts are always more limited than the table itself because of the, the dressing. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. We have, as we have the long base, we, are, we have enough distance, you know, between our chuck and the dressing unit. Therefore, we can dress collision free. Perfect. Well, my friend, you've answered all my questions. Thank if you, you have any more questions that we didn't answer today, leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you for sure. This is the Sexy Six and this is the Sexy Philip.